Hello guys, welcome to GMAT Point. In this video, we are going to discuss about the GMAT scores versus the percentiles. The GMAT as you know is one of the most widely taken MBA entrance exams globally and it's organized by the Graduate Management Admission Council or the GMAT. And it is a test that assesses the analytical and critical thinking abilities of a candidate. And a good GMAT score is the first step on the path to your dream B-School and a high GMAT score also indicates your ability to cope with the difficult and rigorous MBA curriculum. Now let's start with understanding the different aspects of the GMAT percentiles and the scores, how they are computed and also what was the score distribution that is the scores versus percentiles as per the latest information available on the official website of the GMAT. Alright, before we begin let me quickly run you through the free resources we are offering at GMAT point. You can take this free daily test on our website gmatpoint.com. You can also join our telegram group where you can post and discuss your queries with your peers and also exam experts. The link to join the telegram group is provided in the description box below. We are also going to launch a GMAT course very soon and we will be updating you immediately once we launch it. If you have any other queries regarding the GMAT preparation, please do reach out to us at support at the rate gmatpoint.com. You can also WhatsApp or call us on this number 6303239042. Alright, now firstly, let us have a general overview of the GMAT score. As you know, these are the four sections that are tested on the GMAT and your overall GMAT score ranges from 200 to 800 in 10 point increments. That is in the multiples of 10 between 200 and 800. So these are the four sections on the exam and GMAT is a test that's known to measure your analytical, written, quantitative and the verbal skills that are very important, that are considered very important for entrance to a graduate management degree such as an MBA. And each of these four sections is assigned a scaled score. And remember that your total GMAT score which ranges between 200 to 800 is computed only on the results of the quant and the verbal reasoning sections. So the scale score of quant ranges between 6 to 51, the verbal scale score 6 to 51, the integrated reasoning score ranges between 1 to 8 in 1 point increments and your AWS score that is the analytical writing assessment score ranges between 0 to 6. Now this is a table that shows the GMAT scores versus their percentiles. So the percentile linked with the GMAT score is nothing but the percent of uh, people or the test takers that you have outperformed by obtaining that score. Let's say you have scored 750. In that case your percentile will be around 98 percentile that means you have outperformed 98 percent of the GMAT test takers and each of the scores that is between uh, 200 to 800 corresponds to a percentile figure similarly the same is true for the other sections as well the quant verbal ir and the aws sections your score will be converted into a percentile for each of these subsections but remember that the percentile uh, does not usually matter what you score on the GMAT is more important and this is what will be mentioned on your GMAT scorecard but we are just providing these uh, for your reference. So score of 800 that is the highest GMAT score. The percentile is 99 percentile. Similarly these are the other scores and these are the percentile respective percentiles. For a score of 750 your percentile will be 98. If you have achieved a score of 700 you will be at the 88 percentile. For a score of 650 your percentile will be 72. Similarly these are the scores. These are the respective percentiles for these scores. For a 600 you will be at the 53rd percentile, 550, 36 percentile and so on. So these are the different scores versus percentiles for your overall GMAT score. And as mentioned this number, this percentile number simply indicates the percent of test takers that you have performed better than. Let's say you have got a 75 percentile that is somewhere uh, in this range. That means that 25% of the test takers performed better than you and 75% of the test takers did not do well when compared to you. And also remember that your GMAT score uh, will not change but the percentile numbers might vary. So these figures are usually recalculated depending on the number of test takers and number of test takers for that particular period of calculation. And also according to the information available on the official website, around two third of the test takers score between 400 to 600 on the GMAT. Alright, now let us look at the section wise scores versus percentiles. If we look at the quantitative reasoning section, this is one of the most important sections on the GMAT. It consists of 31 questions and the total time limit for the section is 62 minutes and the quant score ranges between 6 to 51. So these are the quant scores from 6 to 51 and these are the respective percentiles. So for the score of 51, this percentile was 97, the score of 50, the percentile was 87, for a score of 44, the percentile was 47. 
फोर्टी वन थर्टी सेवन परसेंटाइल फोर्टी थर्टी फाइव परसेंटाइल थर्टी फाइव ट्वेंटी टू एंड सो ऑन सो दीज आर द स्कोर्स दीज आर द रिस्पेक्टिव परसेंटाइल्स सिमिलरली दीज आर द अदर स्कोर्स एंड फाइनली दीज आर द स्कोर्स फ्रॉम सिक्स सो एज मैंशन द क्वांट स्कोर रेन इज बिटवीन सिक्स टू फिफ्टी वन सो दिस इज द लीस्ट स्कोर एंड द लीस्ट परसेंटाइल नेक्स्ट इफ यू लुक एट द वर्बल रीजनिंग सेक्शन अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन ऑन द जी मैट दिस सेक्शन कंप्राइज ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स क्वेश्चन and it includes questions from three topics that is the reading comprehension critical reasoning and also the sentence correction so there are a total of 36 questions the total time limit is 65 minutes for this section and again uh, just like with the quant section the total score ranges between 6 to 51 but here if you get a score of 51 will be in the 99th percentile range similarly these are the scores for a score of 44 your percentile will be 98 40 90 percentile 35 75 परसेंटाइल 30 58 परसेंटाइल नेक्स्ट 29 25 38 परसेंटाइल 20 22 परसेंटाइल एंड फाइनली दिस आर द रिमेनिंग स्कोर्स अंटिल 6 दिस इज द लीस्ट स्कोर एंड हेंस द लीस्ट परसेंटाइल एंड अगेन एज मेंशन दिस परसेंटाइल कीप वेरिएंग डिपेंडिंग ऑन द नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट टेकर्स सो डोंट रियली वरी अबाउट दिस परसेंटाइल्स यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन योर स्कोर्स नेक्स्ट वी हैव द इंटीग्रेटेड रीजनिंग सेक्शन स्कोर्स वर्सेस परसेंटाइल्स दिस सेक्शन कंसिस्ट ऑफ 12 क्वेश्चंस and this is not a computer adaptive section only the quant and the verbal sections are computer adaptive but the integrated reasoning section is not computer adaptive so this has 12 questions 30 minutes and it primarily includes questions from multi source reasoning graphical interpretation two part analysis and table analysis and the score in the ir section ranges from 1 to 8 in single digit intervals that is in one point increments so these are the scores so for a score of 8 the percentile was 90 7 79 Six sixty-four, score of five forty-eight percentile, and so on. So for a score of one, uh, which is the least score, the percentile is zero. Also remember that the integrated reasoning section is provided as an independent score, and it's not included in your total GMAT score. And finally, we have the analytical writing assessment scores versus percentiles. So thirty minutes is allotted for this section on the GMAT. So you need to write an essay, and it will be based on your analysis of the given argument. and the scores range from 0 to 6 in the AWA section in half point intervals so as you can see uh, in half point intervals the score range is from 0 to 6 and your AWA scores are computed separately from the scores of the other sections and they have no effect on the integrated reasoning section or the verbal or the quant section and also they are not included uh, that is your AWA score is not included in your uh, total GMAT score and this is scored separately so for the highest score of 6 the percentile was 88 5.5 81 percentile 4 18 percentile 3 4 percentile 2 1.5 1 0.5 and 0 so these are all the scores Uh, in the AWA section, and these are the respective percentiles. All right. So, having discussed the scores versus percentiles, now what is a good score on the GMAT? A good score on the GMAT actually depends on your target B school, and it varies from person to person. And a good GMAT score is usually ten or twenty points more than the average score of that incoming batch for that uh, particular B school. And some of the things that influence your GMAT score. are the number of questions that you answered correctly so the number of questions that you answered correctly is one of the key factors that influences your gmat score and also the average level of the difficulty of the questions that you answered so if you qualify for the questions of higher difficulty level and also if you answer more questions correctly then you'll have an overall high score on the gmat and finally if we discuss about the score reports briefly remember that only those gmat score that you want to report are available to the b school admission committees in the mba application process they consider the highest gmat score out of all your attempts so your highest score is only considered and let's say you have cancelled your previous scores those scores will not be appearing on the gmat score report and basically there are two types of score reports the unofficial and the official so an official score report is something that is issued immediately after you have taken the test and your official score report will be available to you within 20 calendar days of taking the test and if you want to know more about these score reports what exactly is uh, included on your unofficial score report your official score report and also what is an enhanced score report what does it include and all such things uh, we have uh, made a separate video a detailed video on your gmat score report and how to interpret it uh, we are providing the link to this video in the description box below so you can check it out 
so these were the scores versus percentiles of your gmat uh, of your total score and also the scores versus percentiles in each section of the gmat but again as mentioned earlier don't worry about these percentiles your gmat core is what matters and your gmat score has a very high weightage in your mba application process and it's also a very important component that is your gmat score is a key component in obtaining a scholarship for your desired mba program so just focus on achieving a good gmat score your target gmat score and the percentiles we have provided are only for your reference we hope that you found this video useful please like the video share and also please subscribe to our channel this will encourage us to do more such important videos and if you have any other doubts regarding the gmat preparation please put them in the comment section below we'll try to address as many of them as possible thank you so much